one to assemble a task force of the most dangerous people on the planet. They're bad guys. Worst of the worst. What was that? I should kill everyone and escape? Sorry. The voices. Let's play. Don't forget, we're the bad guys. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. New Suicide Squad teaser, and there's been a whole bunch of stuff going on behind the scenes, so let's break it down. A lot of you probably heard they've been test screening Suicide Squad. They might even be screening it at Comic-Con, but that's unconfirmed. That's just a rumor right now. But they have been screening it around the country for test audiences. Everyone seems to like it. They actually do this a lot with big movies like this, where they'll privately show it around without really telling people what movie they're going to see. Usually it's places you've never heard of, and they try to get like the most average moviegoer they could possibly find. So someone who doesn't read a lot of comics isn't vastly aware of the characters or what's been going on with the drama behind the movie. They just want to find out what the average person thinks about, you know, whatever cut of the film it is that they're showing. So the idea is, is they use feedback from those test screenings to tune the film before they get the wide release all around the world. But everyone seems to like it so far, and I would not be surprised if Jeff Johns has been spending every last minute of his free time trying to make sure the film is at 100% before the release. So a lot of this footage is repeated from the Bohemian Rhapsody longer trailer, which I actually think is one of the best trailers for any movie in the last year, next to Spider-Man Civil War. Those are my two favorite trailers this year so far. But I would be willing to bet, based on the stuff that's happening behind the scenes, that this film marks a really nice balance between the silliness of Deadpool and the really hardcore nature of Batman v Superman. There were a lot of really good things in Batman v Superman, but there were some story issues, and the tone of Superman was just way off. There was a lot of great Batman in there, but the film just wasn't quite as balanced as it needed to be. So I think Suicide Squad will be the answer to that. They have more characters, they have Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is really going to balance the tone of the film. Her character is kind of meta commentary on the film itself. She's someone who vacillates between like really crazy Deadpool silliness and just really hardcore WTF Joker moments. So what about Justice League stuff? I know a lot of you are asking, are they going to be teasing any other things for the other movies? There will be some stuff for the other movies, but I'm, I'm expecting that they're probably trying to minimize that just to keep the film under control. Usually where big movies like this run into trouble is where they try to do too many things. So outside of the Batman moments, I'm just expecting brief teasers for what's going to be going on in Justice League. Because they are filming that right now, so we might actually see some Justice League teaser stuff dropping around Suicide Squad later this year. The other big thing that's coming with this movie is all the Suicide Squad Rebirth comic book stuff. So if you're following along in the comics, they've really just released the big A-list titles like Batman, Superman, The Flash. So they're like the tip of the Rebirth spear. By the time we get to August and October, that's when you'll see Harley Quinn Rebirth, you'll see Suicide Squad Rebirth. So those comics aren't coming till a little bit later. So if you want to read along with all the DC Rebirth stuff that's happening and you want like some Suicide Squad related stuff, I would recommend you just go with Batman Rebirth. They're doing this really weird thing where Clayface is now on Team Batman. So most of you should be able to check that out on Comixology if you don't have a comic book store nearby. A lot of people ask me where to buy digital comics. All of the digital stuff that I read is from Comixology. They're owned by Amazon. It's pretty much everywhere around the world. So you should be able to buy your comics digitally if you can't make it to a store. But that actually reminds me, I'm doing a giveaway right now. It's a $20 Amazon gift card, which will actually buy you a lot of comics. So all you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. I'll announce the winner when I post a Flash Rebirth video later today. So if I didn't mention it, I think it's actually pretty obvious. You guys have probably picked up on this, that the comic books have started to follow the movies a little bit. It's not quite the same as it is with Marvel. Marvel's comics really take their energy from the movies now. DC isn't quite there yet because they've just started to spin out this greater cinematic universe. So you'll start to see that more and more where the movie characters are getting this rebirth of sorts. The hand of Jeff Johns is reaching into the movie machine, tuning the characters a little bit, refreshing certain elements of the story. Then you see a lot of that same stuff happening in the comics. So no surprises. But currently my favorite rebirth comics right now, I'll talk about this a little bit more in my Flash Rebirth video, but Green Arrow Rebirth is a lot of fun in Flash Rebirth. So be sure to check them out. The artwork is amazing. I love how Harley looks like she's trying to crawl out of my monitor here. But while you guys wait for my Flash Rebirth video, you can click here for my Injustice 2 trailer video. That's coming next year, but I, I talk a little bit about what's going on with the game. And you can click here to learn all about Superman coming into the Flash Arrow universe. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.